this is what's up 2190 here and today I'll be showing you how to uh, perform traffic analysis on your network for free on Mac OS X and they do have this for Windows too. I'm not suggesting you sh do this on like a public network and use it to break into accounts if you use it for anything bad or illegal that is your decision I am not responsible. Um, the first things first if you're on the Mac version if you run, I'll show you the, I'm going to put the link to download in the description. It will make you install, um, it won't work if you don't have X Quartz or X11 installed. So if you don't have that installed, um, OS X 70 doesn't have it installed by default, I know. Uh, watch, my, I'll put a link to my video on how to install that. Once you've installed that, you just open this program. Make sure X11 is closed first and then open this program. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes to get to get up and running the first time because it's setting some stuff up. Um, but once it's running... Sorry, i got to reopen it. Hold on. There we go. So once it's running, it'll come up to a screen that looks like this. Um, right here is uh, you can choose what um, what what part of your network you want to monitor. You can choose uh, Ethernet uh, computers that are connected to you through Ethernet or that you're sharing files with or something. Uh, Firewire. Um, Thunderbolt, and a whole bunch of other stuff too. What you'll probably be most interested in though, uh, if your computer, well hold on, if your computer um, is is running on a network where the com all the computers are, or devices are plugged in to, through a Wi-Fi, to, to the network through a cable, and not through, uh, and they don't use the wireless internet, use this one. If they are using wireless internet, you'll want to use this one. So, um, once you've done that, you can just, you just, uh, click this button right here, start a new live capture, but first, let's uh, go over some things. Um, you can, uh, set up filters, um, I can't go over any everything you can do with this program because I'll make the video way too long. You can, uh, if you want to, um, just set up a filter to where it will only display uh, coming from uh, communications coming through or from a different, a certain IP address. You just type IP address, then whatever IP address, and then click apply. So, once you once you're ready to go, just click this button, and it'll immediately come up with several packets. Now, you just let it go as long as you want until you have all the information you think you have all the information you want. Um, but here's the thing: if it's encrypted data, if you once you're done here, you just click on that. You just click on the packet itself, which will look like this. And you can determine pretty much any information you want, whether it's a TCP or UDP packet, the ports, um, the IP, the IP address it, it was sent from, which is source, the IP address it was sent to, which is destination. But he, but if it's an encrypted packet, whether it's encrypted using SSL or whatever type of encryption. Um, you'll just get like a scrambled mess when you try to view whatever the packet actually is. When you try to view the information in the packet. So, once you've, uh, it'll, it'll basically, uh, green, uh, color in, uh, the, the packet depending on what type of packet it is. See, TCP packets are purple, UDP packets are, uh, blue.
HTTP, it looks like HTTP packets are green. But, and then once you've got, you want to, if you want to save your results, you just go file save and then just name it, go to the folder you want to in here. I'm already in the field I'm going to be in. So just uh, go to that folder and then I'm going to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it attempt two and then save it. Then if you go to that folder and open the file, Wireshark will open and it will display and it will display those saved results. So that's about it for this video. Hope you guys liked. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190 and I'm signing off.